going on YouTube? Today I'm at Fort Carson, Colorado Springs. I'm at the 13th ASOS Air Support Operations Squadron. Just did a briefing here. So I want to show you something different. Today I want to talk about two things. The first one is payday lenders. And I've done a little bit of research on payday lenders. I'm going to tell you this up front. Avoid a payday lender if you can. Avoid it, period. And I'm going to also take it a step further. You can avoid a payday lender. Okay. Some of the things that I've seen is interest rate is very, very high, up to 300%. That's crazy. For service members, 36% capped. I'm, like, I'm, like I said just a moment ago, stay away from payday lenders. It's a headache. What happens is you go in, you say, I need money. I'm going to get paid next week. They'll give you the money today. You'll write a check or give them access to your bank account. Not a good thing. Don't ever give anybody access to your bank account. They're going to get their money. If, if you have a problem or you need something today, look at it and say, okay, is it a, is it a need? Is it a want? What, what is it? If it's a want, it's going to have to wait, or at least it should wait. Unfortunately, some people can't wait, and they still want whatever it is today. So it's just something for you to think about if that's the case. Uh, payday lenders, never a good option. Your military installation probably has a resource that's better for you, that can assist you, especially if it is a need. There is some type of resource out there. That's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Second thing I want to talk about is rent to own businesses. They're out there, right outside the military installation as well. I'm talking about if you need a laptop, if you need a big screen TV, furniture, things like that, rent to own. I watched a video on YouTube just yesterday while I was doing research, and it's a six minute video that's out there saying don't ever trust a rent to own business because they're gonna cheat you. So what happens is you go in, you say, here's what I need, and they're going to say, here's what we have. So they'll give it to you, okay? And then you start making payments. If for some reason you change your mind and need to return it or you fail to pay, they will come to your door, knock on your door, and ask to get it back. Then they're going to get the laptop or the piece of furniture, whatever that is, and say, you know what? This is messed up. You're going to have to replace it, or you're going to have to pay to do that. Not, not a good thing. Um, when I joined the service, the, the example I like to give is I didn't have any furniture. I didn't have anything except for my wife, our son, and six pieces of luggage. That's it. Our son would drive a bicycle that we finally got for him and say, hey, Dad, someone's throwing away a couch or an entertainment center or whatever, and that's how we started. Air Force bases have airmen's attic, usually E5 and below or so. Here on post, uh, the Army may have something similar. So check them out. Don't go out there and start furnishing your entire home with rent-to-own business. It's not a good option. It is an option, my opinion, it's not a good option at all, okay? So I talked about payday lender. I asked in one of my videos before, when is the only good time you should visit a payday lender? Never, ever, ever, never. Rent-to-own businesses, uh, it's an option. It's a horrible option, that's my opinion. Nothing against those businesses. It's just not an option that I would consider. Hopefully this helped you out. Do research, find out what you have to do. I will leave you with this. When I was an E2 at my first base, we got a knock on the door, somebody saying, hey, we have computers, we have laptops, we have um, regular computers. Are you interested in buying one? How much is it, is the question I asked. Because I didn't have any money saved up. It is $74 a month, that's it. Long story short, I said yes in 1997, and that computer cost me $2,400 for a computer. Different time, I didn't know, I just saw what I needed. We wanted a computer, and there it was. It's not a good option. You as a consumer have power. Sometimes it's okay to wait. Sometimes it's okay to buy used. Sometimes it's okay to get free out of a, uh, an agency that can provide that for free. Hopefully this helped you out and continue to watch these cool videos. Contact me with any questions. Have a good day.